Welcome to DOS Geek. I want to show you XFCE and Zubuntu because I've been so impressed with this distribution and desktop environment, especially as somebody who absolutely loves KDE, loves getting that modern pre setup, get out of my way look that like a KDE, Majaro KDE, or one of those other distro desktop combinations can give you, maybe a Majaro GNOME even where everything is kind of set up for you. You can tweak with it, but you don't have to tweak a lot and it looks gorgeous out of the box. Now my desktop environment here is Zubuntu, which is a basically based on Ubuntu. This is 17.04, which is Zesty Zappos here on the screen you can see in my terminal. So it's based on Ubuntu, uses the XFCE desktop environment. And based on what I had heard throughout the Linux community, XFCE is lightweight, but it looks dated and you're going to have to spend hours tweaking it and you will have to spend some time tweaking it to do the things you want to do. But what's amazing about XFCE specifically is that what you do with it, the things that you tweak are easy to implement. The options make sense and making changes to it because so many people have tweaked it is really just a process of copying what others have done and you can do it really in a small amount of time and you can make this desktop environment really really sing and out of the box it doesn't look so bad unlike some which distributions we've used which don't even have a search in their menu system if you look at this here the whiskers menu of course you have a search right out of the box which is to me something i mandatory have to have if I open a menu system and there is absolutely no search functionality, it's pretty worthless. Yes, there are applications and tweaks and things that you can do to add it, but I don't want to have to do it. Another thing is the file manager. Now, typically this comes with the file manager of Thunar. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Thunar, namely because it didn't have the recursive search function built in. You could go into a folder, right click and do a search from there but that was only gonna search within that folder. But with XFCE, once again, it's very easy. You can go and change that, and I've changed it to the file manager of Nautilus, and so I have that recursive search function right up here that I can utilize. And then there's, of course, the icon set, and this is using the Papyrus icon set here, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna give instructions below on how you can get your XFCE desktop if you're interested to look like mine or take some of the ideas you like that I've done and incorporate them. And of course, you've got this beautiful dock up here. And this is the Cairo dock, which, you know, beloved by many, has so many quick options to not only power down your system, get into your folders, but in really in any desktop environment for the most part, I'm going to go install this dock. It's my favorite. It's the most customizable, easy to use, and it's absolutely gorgeous. To look at and of course with Zubuntu you get access to their store and uh, you get access to your typical Ubuntu store here and you have access to all the snap packages and software that your heart could desire and I love Debian based distributions it's kind of what I started off of with just plain vanilla Ubuntu but as I've grown and with Unity going away Gnome is great. I, I love it, but or Gnome, if you want to pronounce it that way. But it's just not something that I want to use as my main desktop when I'm doing work. I love it, actually, on a laptop or portable computer, the way the application menus and things go up. But for some reason, I feel more productive in um, a, a less GUI-based uh, environment like Gnome has. Uh, and the way that they display their applications and the way that you get to things just aren't isn't to me a pristine way of navigating while I'm working. And again, that's my personal preference. That doesn't mean you not feel the same. You may love GNOME and feel that you're far more productive on it. And that's great. And that's why we have all of these choices to begin with. So what I like to do with any of these distros is go to their sites and see what they have to say about their distribution because that's way more important than what somebody like me is going to say about it. So if we go to uh, Zubuntu's main site, Zubuntu is an elegant and easy to use operating system, comes with XFCE, which is stable, light, and configurable. And it's definitely all of those things. It's stable, it's very light on resources, 
And in fact, in doing some tests, and these are not scientific benchmarks here by any means, just some simple tests using system monitor and switching between the KDE desktop environment, uh, again, using Ubuntu as the base here and utilizing XFCE, I saw about CPU, uh, CPU usage idle running about one to 2% in the KDE environment, it would run about two to 3%. That's on an i7 6700K uh, processor there. Memory, it would use idle about 5.4%. Now the memory usage, interestingly enough, in XFCE was actually higher at 8%. And of course that can be caused by different things running in the background or whatnot. Um, but again, it's just a non-scientific, interesting way of looking at this processes running were 270 in Zubuntu, where the processes in KDE were 288 total. Now, when I started running a YouTube video, it was a high definition YouTube video, played the same video in both desktop environments. Uh, we were running about 12 to 16% in Zubuntu of my CPU was being used in about 10% of my memory. With KDE, for instance, it was around 22 to 30% until it was buffered. So it took a little while. Once it got buffered, it stayed about that, that 22%. So compare that to the 12 to 16%. And 2.4 gigabytes of memory, or 7.64% of memory again, versus 10% in XFCE. So it is more lightweight, but for whatever reason, there are some differences there uh, in the memory usage. And I thought that was just something interesting. So again, Lots of customization options. If you want to move this panel, for instance, and you want to move it to the top, you can just go to move. And now you're going to have the options to move these individual panels here. If you wanted to move the entire panel instead of just one little element, well, we can do that too. We can go into panel preferences. We can unlock the panel. That's going to unlock this move bar. And now I can move this up here or move it down to the bottom, wherever you prefer it to be. And then I can lock that panel if I want, or I can leave it unlocked, uh, but we can go back into panel preferences and just lock that panel. And you can see those little bars to grab that go away. And you can add all of these little uh, indicators here at the bottom to your heart's preference. It comes with uh, the network indicator, your sound indicator and things like that. But I've added other indicators here like the network monitor or system monitor down below so that you could see that. The customization options are very simple to engage and initiate. And it's very difficult to break this desktop environment in a way where you can't get it back to normal or figure out very easily how to fix anything that you may have changed that you didn't want to. So in that way, while you are gonna to want to probably tweak XFCE to do the things or set it up the way that you want for your functionality, it's very easy to do so. And the menu systems uh, to get into different settings and things is very easy to access. So if we go into our settings manager, about me, of course, changes information about me and my profile, and I'm able to change your picture there. You've got appearance here. So if you wanna change some of your styles, your icons, this is of course using the e-papyrus, your fonts, your settings here, everything makes sense. And I accidentally closed out of that window, um, but you can see everything is set up in a very organized manner. You have personal up here as your subheading, you've got hardware down here where you can add your additional drivers or set up Bluetooth manager, etc. You've got your system to affect anything to deal with your system as well as your NVIDIA X server. Uh, in this case, since I run the 1080 and you have other, so everything's in its nice category. When you're starting to tweak, you can play with it. Now, another thing that I've done is installed Conkey Manager. And really the only thing that provided me is a different wallpaper and it allowed me to put uh, this time and date stamp here. It was the only thing out of Conkey Manager that I really wanted to keep, but Conkey is a great way. And again, I'll have instructions down below for you to go in and add different functionality or themes to your system. And you can see some snapshots of those and it's as simple as just clicking that and applying it uh, to add it and make it your new desktop. And you can do that per screen. Like I have different uh, views and wallpapers on each of the screens that I have. So you can go to each screen and individually adjust those. So there are so many options for you out there to adjust this tool, uh, XFCE that it just makes it very welcoming to go in there and play with. And I, I feel like XFCE gets a bad rap for that because when you do
do first boot into it, it's not that it doesn't look modern, but it looks very plain. And they do that on purpose because the whole idea behind it is for you to customize it and make it your own. And I like that. I didn't think I'd like that. I thought I wanted everything out of the box, but the more I'm getting into Linux, the more I'm playing with it, the more I'm actually liking that because I'm finding different things like file managers and stuff that I prefer over what may come stock with a desktop environment. One of the issues that I did run into with Zubuntu is screen tearing, and it's a very minor screen tearing. It's not like it's jittering or cutting away. It's almost like a blur when you're reading through web pages. It doesn't matter if you're in Chromium or Firefox, you'll see it. And it has something to do with the composite manager in there. So if you turn compositing off, then that blur goes away instantly and you don't have the issue anymore. The problem is if you turn compositing off at certain points, when you're moving a screen over top of Cairo, you're going to get this black bar that comes across. And in fact, it's going to tell you, Hey, do you want to turn compositing back on? Uh, because if you do, we can get rid of that black bar. So Cairo's uh, smart enough to know that you need that uh, in order to stop that black bar from coming. The black bar is really not that annoying or big of a problem. So to me, it's more annoying to have that screen kind of blurring issue there. And I haven't dug in to figure out exactly what causes that, but that's really one of the only issues that I've run into since using this environment. So XFCE, little information about it, it originally stood for Xforms Common Environment, but since then XFCE was rewritten twice and doesn't use Xforms Toolkit anymore. The name survived, but the F is no longer capitalized so currently the acronym doesn't stand for anything actually. So that's kind of interesting information there. So we can go to XFC's page here and you can see again, some of this does look like, I don't know, maybe Windows 98 ish, but you can see my system really doesn't look like that at all. And that's because of the tweaks and icon sets and things that I've changed. But by default, it can look kind of Windows 98 ish there. Uh, but you can change that, and that's really the beauty of XFCE. It's very light and snappy. I've played Rocket League. I've played uh, Outlast, and the, those videos that are out there, you can see I'm playing them in Zubuntu with XFCE. It games extremely well. I have no screen tearing or issues uh, in running Zubuntu with Steam games out there. Run absolutely beautiful. So overall... Uh, I'm very happy with Ubuntu. I think more people need to check it out. I think more people need to give XFC a chance. I see a lot of hatred out there for it because of the fact that it comes out plain, but there's so much you can do for it. So do not turn your back on it. In fact, maybe install it in a virtual manager and start playing with it and learn about all the things uh, that you can do to tweak it. And I think you'll find that you absolutely love it. I love that there are multiple ways to get to everything that you want within your system. So if you right click on the desktop, I can get to my applications from there. So no matter where I'm at, if I need to launch something quickly, and a lot of times for my personal productivity, that's what I'm wanting to do. It's like, oh, I wanna open this program and I wanna to get to it. I might be close down here. I might be in the middle of my desktop. I might be in another program, but either way, everything is just a click away. And that's what makes it so awesome. You can go, of course, arrange your desktop uh, icons, which will arrange those for you. You can create launchers, URLs, folders, desktop links. You can go into your desktop settings, change your backgrounds and make changes. There are so many changes. You can make changes everywhere within this. You can add extra panels. You can do whatever your heart desires. And that's what's just so awesome about it, including adding extra things here. Like I've added a nice little home folder for me to get to. So if you want to add new items or panels, you've got launchers, action buttons, application menus, clocks, CPU graphs. I mean, it goes on and on. So you can add all of these little things down here to make it more effective for you and how you work. And as I've played with this, I've moved things around. I've rearranged them from what I thought originally would want. And this is probably not even going to be my final setup, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, for only using it for a couple of weeks. And those couple of weeks have been awesome. I've been super excited uh, each time booting into XFCE and using it. I've just had so much fun with it and very, very happy with it. So that is Zubuntu XFCE. There's nothing to hate here. There's so much to love. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you've tried XFCE. Did you end up not liking the idea of changing everything yourself, of starting with this kind of very... Um, I won't want to say blank state uh, slate because it's not as bad as like LXQT where you don't even have a search 
function within your menu system, but it's certainly a more blank slate than you're gonna get with your typical KDE Plasma uh, desktop environment, but you can make it something amazing. Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Go for it,